perfect. So my background is brain research, neurophysiology. So I was, uh, I, I did my training at the Montreal Neurological Institute. I was working uh, on epilepsy and memory when uh, I was hired at some point to work for a company in Oregon. Some of you may remember the name was Celtech. It was a company that was selling uh, the blue green algae, Afanisome and Omphalos Aqua. In short, AFA, blue green algae from Klamath Lake. So my job, so this was in 1995, right after the passage of the Shea. So companies making any kind of health claims uh, on dietary supplement needed to have data to support any of the, of the claims that they would make. So that's what I was hired for, to study this plant, how it works, uh, how it worked on the body, the mechanism of action to support the claims that the, companies, uh, the company was making. The claims were mostly on uh, support for uh, inflammation, immune system, and mental clarity. So we very quickly identified the main mechanism of action behind uh, the benefits of this blue-green algae. But as I'm doing this work, I came across cases of people who reported benefits with multiple sclerosis, diabetes, stroke, emphysema, liver failure, kidney failure, joint pain, skin scars that disappeared. Uh, so at first, as I'm sure you know, a story doesn't mean anything from a medical standpoint, but when it starts to be 30, 50, 60 of these stories, and as I start to interview some of these people, try to understand more some of these cases, it became fairly clear to me that these were real cases. I mean, the, the benefits that really happened in these people's life. Uh, so the question was, how can a product, a single product, uh, herbal product, can lead to benefits touching the heart in some people, the pancreas in others, livers, the lung, the, the skin, the brain, the joints. So what was this, this thing that the product was doing? So for a number of years, we did a number of studies. We got good data, but nothing really that gave us a real explanation until one day I came across an article that was, to my knowledge, the first article documenting stem cells from the bone marrow going to the brain and becoming brain cells. So we are in 2001 at a time when stem cells are only known to be precursors to blood cells. They're not known to become anything else outside of blood cells. And of all cells, the brain or of all tissue, the brain is definitely not a tissue that is known to regenerate or repair itself. So that the stem cell went to the brain to become a brain cell was to me an amazing breakthrough. So I went into the literature to see what else I could find. I found another paper documenting stem cells going to the liver and becoming liver cells and also going to the heart and becoming heart cells. So in my mind, the thought was, if stem cells can become heart, liver, and brain, why not pancreas, skin, lung, and the rest? It made no sense that they would become those three and not the rest. Uh, and if they do become different cells in the body, then they cannot just do this randomly. It has to be that they are the repair system of the body. So we published an article in the journal Medical Hypotheses suggesting that stem cells are the repair system of the body. And in the back of my mind, the thought was, what if this product, this blue-green algae, works by doing one thing in the body, which is supporting the natural repair system of the body by releasing stem cells? Now you release stem cells, they will go in the pancreas of the diabetic, the lung of the emphysema patient, the brain of the Parkinson patient, and that's what we had with AFA. That was the starting point in 2001. We very quickly discovered that's how this blue green algae was working. It acted as a stem cell mobilizer. Uh, and then from that point on, you know, in my mind, if all of this is real, then there could not be just one plant having an effect on stem cells. So we started to look at other plants associated with a broad variety of health benefits. And we went and we studied them in the lab on their effect on stem cells. Uh, and then the second, so we looked at goji berries, medicinal mushrooms, seaweeds, all the, the so-called adaptogens, the, the, those, those compounds or plants known to bring all kinds of benefits, but we don't really have a mechanism of action. And we found that, well, most of them are actually acting, having an effect on stem cells. And then we went, and that's where we, we did what I think are the most uh, interesting, uh, extravagant discoveries that we have done. We went into remote areas of the world, places that are outside of the global economy, uh, and what are they using in these regions? Like, what are they using on the Tibetan Plateau, in Madagascar, in Papua New Guinea, in Africa, in South America? What is their go-to plant that is known to, to, to bring all kinds of benefits? We studied them, and this is where we found 
the, the sea buckthorn berry extract, aloe macroclara from Madagascar, seaweeds from Patagonia, and so on. So all of these are blended into stem regen. So you take two capsules of stem regen and you will release uh, average around, let's say, 10 million of your own stem cells.